July 8th, <laughs> the July 8th, and um, I'm just sitting down to, well, I need to edit yesterday's video and then do that quilting stuff. So, um, came, I just came in from taking the dogs outside, and um, so my plan is to edit yesterday's work on the cowl and then work on that so um here's I didn't get any more done so I'm still on that fourth color but I thought I would open up the day eight and um so I'm not I'm not behind anymore so okay this one is called always so that's um, like Snape, right? And the Patronus. And so I'm thinking like a silvery blue color, like very pale silvery, like wispy. Okay, well, there's blue in it. <laughs> very pretty. I don't know why there's red, but I do like that. Maybe because of love. So I shove that back in there. And then day eight on this one is Buckbeak. So I'm picturing brown. Oh, that's pretty. So brown with some red in it. Very pretty. Um, I'm either going to have on the audiobook or on Prime right now, they have Yours, Mine, and Ours, the original with Lucille Ball, and I love that movie, so I might, I might watch that. So, um, but right now I need to edit the vlog and really need to work on this, um, because it's Saturday, so don't have much time so i'll talk to you guys in a little bit bye in christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good good time friends it is about 3 a.m. and um, I haven't really done updates today so I have various ones for you I had dinner with my husband down um, we had rib, ribs and mashed potatoes and he was falling asleep so I put on a movie for him and then I ended up staying down there the whole time. And did I do anything productive? The answer is no. Nothing productive at all. So that was a wonderful use of my time. Um, I scrolled patterns on Ravelry is what I did. <laughs> so anyways, then I was coming back upstairs and those little monsters got into yesterday's advent urn or today's actually it's today's it's the eighth and so I'm about to put on an ASMR video and unwind this but I thought in the meantime you know what every other every other litter we've had has respected the yarn you know sure we'll destroy Oma's clothes We'll tear holes into them. We'll do other semi-destructive stuff, but we'll leave almost craft stuff alone. This litter, no respect for the yarn. I would rather they have destroyed a pair of my shorts or a shirt or something like that than they keep getting into the yarn. Um, yeah, so that sucks, but I think it's salvageable. I know this looks like a big mess, but I've got it into various, maybe manageable sections to divvy up. So, um, ow, 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 
sorry, ow, I have, uh, I think I'm be um, beginning to get arthritis. My mom got it really young too. And if I'm not careful when like squeezing my hands, if I get it on a knuckle joint, it is bad pain. Um, and so I accidentally did that just now. Anyways, and um, I had taken my pixie dust cowl downstairs to work on while we watched a show with dinner. And I managed one row. <laughs> but anyways, so I finished day number four and I have started day number five and I am on row two, round two of day number five. So this is what we're looking like right now. And this is the Battenberg Square from day number four. Um, and then my biggest, biggest update is I finished the Quello for my nephew. And this is it all folded up. Um, so it folds like basically into a pillow um, for easy storage. So I'm now wanting to turn everything into a quillo because look at how nicely it folds up. So nice. Um, but so this one is done. I had started quilting Evelyn's. And what I had decided to do was use one of the decorative stitches on my machine that is like a vine of hearts. So it goes like heart on that side, heart on that side, heart on that side, like that, right? And so I had started doing a section of that. When I realized that it wasn't really feeding through properly. Now I had tested this stitch on some scrap fabric, but I'm thinking because I hadn't put batting in between the two layers that it didn't really accurately test because it looked fine on my little test sample that I'm uh, sure the dogs have stolen because it's not right here. Um, anyway, so it looked beautiful and I was like, this will be so nice. And I was focusing on keeping it centered. And um, I got a good five, probably five inches. A good five inches. And I realized it wasn't feeding through properly. The, it, um, the part towards the end that I had worked on was not even just like distinguished as hearts. <laughs> so then I had to spend over an hour trying to unpick that and it was very difficult. I was worried I was gonna rip the fabric with my seam ripper or the, <laughs> it just took forever. Um, there are a few stretch marks now in the batting, but it's all good because I got it out and I am just doing stitch in the ditch. That idea of fanciness has left. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did two rows and then it was dinner time. So sorry, I'm fairly confident I can finish it. No problem tomorrow and, um, should be good to go. So I'm not going to show that right now, but, um, anyways, so the last thing is that Midnight Tonight started um, Sock Week because it's Shark Week. So Nitty Natty hosts Sock Week. And I am toying with the idea of casting on a pair of socks. Because the, the goal is to finish a sock, not a pair, just a single sock in the week. And it's actually eight days. It runs from Sunday through the end of the next Sunday. And so I'm kind of tempted to do it because I've always like wanted to, but I never have. But then I also have to remind myself, I still have to finish two crochet afghans and Evelyn's quilt, which is close to being done. I think that's just like uh, four or five hours. Probably I can finish it in four or five hours. 
but I really want to do it, which is why I was scrolling patterns on Ravelry. I don't want to bring out my Swift or Yarn Winder, so I need to look at what I have caked up already. Maybe I will, s no, 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 because that's cables. That's way more involved than I want to get. I don't know. I really kind of want to. Anyways, so <laughs> someone with more sanity than me, tell me not to do it in the comments below. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I am going to, I'm really tired, so I'm also going to go to bed real soon, but I just want to deal with this not situation um so yeah i'll catch up with you guys in the morning and hope you are having a great day bye well that took way longer than i thought it would three almost and a half hours later i got it i did manage to get it <laughs> Um, and I didn't cut it, so that's good. There are a few slubby parts where the dogs managed to snip a couple of the plies, but I'm hoping that'll just show up in the crochet part and that'll be fine. Anyways, I am up for bed now and I will edit this, um, in the morning. So talk to you guys later and I hope you have a great day.